This video series covers using the Grad Schools template to format your thesis or dissertation. This specific video is an overview of the Grad Schools Word template. After downloading the document, double click the file to open a new document to edit. The first page is the abstract page. It includes your document title, your abstract, and at least five keywords. If needed, your abstract can be two pages long. The second page is the title page. It includes your document title, your name, along with your degree, the department name, and the year you've received the degree. The next page is the copyright page. It only includes a copyright symbol or the word copyright, not both your name, and the year you received your degree. The fourth page is the committee page. This includes the document title, your name, along with your committee members' names at the bottom. You want to list your chair or co-chairs first, and then the rest of the committee in alphabetical order. If you don't have five committee members, just delete the extra placeholders. The fifth page is the acknowledgments page. This is an optional page. However, it is recommended you acknowledge your committee in some way. If needed, your acknowledgments page can be two pages long. And note that you only include your initials and not your full name. The sixth page is the table of contents page. This is a specially formatted page that will automatically update with your chapter and section text and page numbers after you've added content. Do not try to reformat this page. In another video, we will cover this section specifically. The seventh page is the table of tables, essentially a numbered list of your tables. And the last and eighth page is a table of your figures. And figures are anything that is not a table, charts, graphs, images, illustrations, etc. In another video, we will cover how to format both of these lists. If you do not have any tables or figures in your document, you can delete these pages. And we'll, we'll cover how to do this in another video. Then we get to the body of the template. The template body has a page for, each, for five chapters. And you'll notice that the chapter numbers are uppercase Roman numerals. And then we get to the back matter. There's a page to enter your references or your works cited or bibliography. And then there's two pages to include appendix. You'll notice that the appendix is alphabetical and not numerical. If you only have one appendix, you can eliminate the letter A. And of course, if you have more than two appendices, you can add more pages to include more. In the next video, we're going to cover some preliminary setup of Word before you actually start adding content.